So I had to take a little unexpected trip out of town. So lucky for me, they had a art store uh, close by so I could get a few art supplies that I didn't bring with me. I did just throw a few things in um, as I went, including two cyanotypes. And I do always bring a travel kit for cyanotypes uh, with me in case so I can um, if I find a pretty spot, I can do some, um, but in this case, I already have two, and I wanted to show just a little bit of adding some cold wax medium to your cyanotypes, so I don't even know if the sound's going to come out because I have this uh, going on my tripod on my phone and not on my usual uh, camera with my usual microphone, so we will see if I will have to type this or not. But I got some oil sticks at my favorite art shop. I was running out of several colors, so I grabbed some while I was there. And I got some of this cadmium green pale, which I love. I also purchased a little jar of Dorland's wax. This is a little tiny jar. It really goes a long ways and it's great for travel size. If you need some uh, for travel, this is a great little size to get. And then I had already a palette knife um, ready to go. So I have here just using the paper um, that I brought an aluminum tray with me or a enamel tray with me and um, that way I'm not messing up anything at wherever I'm staying at the hotel. Um, I bring a nice enamel tray. They're really easy to clean and um, they're easy to wipe off and clean no matter what sort of art project that you're doing and so I have a nice big one and that way I can clean it off easily when I'm done and um, put it back in the car. So I have here um, my cadmium green, I have a little bit of Dorland's down here with my palette knife and I'm just going to get a Kleenex from my hotel room and clean off the tip of this brand new oil stick and that way I can sort of break that seal and barrier and get it going there so it's ready to use and I'm just going to break a little bit tiny bit off here to mix with the cold wax with my palette knife this beautiful cadmium green and I'm going to go ahead and mix it really well with this knife I'm going to use the palette knife to paint on my cyanotype and you can add a cold wax finish to your cyanotype is one way to finish your cyanotype print, but you can also paint with cold wax on it. And so that's what I wanted to show today is a little bit of adding just a little bit of pop of color to your cyanotype print with some cold wax medium. So here I'm just going to add a little bit goes a long ways. I've got my cadmium, cadmium green pale. It's one of my favorite colors. It's a sort of my go-to uh, in my go-to color um, color wheelhouse there is I always love to have a cadmium green pale, especially to go with the deep blues that I enjoy like the indigos and the blues that are in cyanotype prints. So I'm going to go ahead and set the color aside for just a minute while I add a cold wax finish to the overall cyanotype print. I have two cyanotype prints here um, that I did just before I left. And so they're, um, these are done on Arches Platine paper, uh, platine paper, and I really love this paper. It gives a lot of great detail in the cyanotype print. So I have this one, and then I have this one with the Queen Anne's lace. They both have a Queen Anne's lace to them and the highlights have a lot of opportunity for adding um, another pop of color in there in either the flower or in the Queen Anne's lace or in the little flowers here. So it has quite a bit of opportunity. I'm gonna add 
I'm going to add to this one here and I'm going to add a cold wax finish. I just have a Kleenex from my hotel room here and there's no reason to not have fun even if you are out of town um, at a hotel. I always bring some go-to art supplies with me and then like I said it just so happened that we were near an art store so it was just um, good luck that I was able to um, get just a few more things. Now, I don't have any gloved hands today because I forgot my gloves on my way out. Know that I always wear gloves, and you know if you watch Wax on Wednesdays that I always wear gloves when I'm, especially when I'm working with oil paint. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit today, but please wear gloves always when working with any kind of pigments. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit of that cold wax straight out of the jar and just go in here take some out and rub it right on my cyanotype print. I'm gonna run it, rub it all over and work it in to the print. Now I could just leave it here as a finish, but I'm going to go one step further and add a little pop of color with some cold wax after I add this layer and I'm going to do it wet on wet, so I'm not gonna allow it, the cold wax to dry before I do it, but you certainly can, and you can build up layers that way of cold wax and pigment and, um, and let it dry in between and get really get some fun things going. Cold wax looks really lovely on an acoustic print, or on, on, Cold wax looks really lovely on a cyanotype print, as does encaustic. Encaustic is another great finish for cyanotypes, but it's much easier to travel with cold wax than it is with encaustic wax. So that is one opportunity that I do take advantage of and use that time to work in cold wax or bring things with me that uh, require a cold wax finish in my downtime. I can certainly finish off my prints by adding a lovely cold wax finish to them. And you can see that it just adds a lovely depth to the image and it, depending on what paper you use, it's gonna look different every single time depending on the type of paper that you used for your cyanotype print. Now you can also do this with a photograph as well. You certainly can do this with a photograph if you printed it on matte paper and not glossy paper. And what I brought with me, I brought some Renaissance wax with me and I really love uh, Renaissance wax for also for adding a finish to my cyanotype prints. But then I decided that I wanted to add a pop of color with some of the oil sticks. So that's when I went and got the door lens. And you can build these layers up a little bit. You can make it thick or thin. I just like a nice, thin, even coating. And normally I would use a soft, um, a soft cloth, a soft cotton cloth uh, to apply this rather than a Kleenex. But in a pinch, you do what you have to. So um, this worked out just fine. It's when it's dry, you're not going to be able to tell what I used uh, to apply it with but I would use, just so I don't scratch the, a cyanotype is a photograph. It's a photographic print. It's a cameraless photographic print. And uh, so I don't wanna take any uh, chances on scratching it. So a Kleenex might, depending on the grade of Kleenex, it might actually uh, scratch your print. So you want a, maybe a nice, fine cotton, um, soft cotton cloth to add that cold wax if you are in your creative space. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and bring back my green cold wax 
here. there pick that up while I was painting in my glasses okay now at first I thought I just wanted to add to some leaves but what if I wanted to add a little overall pop of color to the whole bottom of the painting And this is just, I just brought these really to play and explore and see what if. I just popped a couple of my newest prints in my bag and thought, well, I'll grab some supplies and just kind of see what happens. So there's no expectations on this this is just sort of exploring and having fun i do love this color with the cyanotype i think it just kind of pops i don't want to cover up all my highlights i like to leave some little hints of the whitest whites. You can use the palette knife. You can use, again, a soft cloth, a catalyst wedge to spread this on, which I might get a catalyst tool out and just sort of play with that. Next week, definitely playing with some catalyst tools. So make sure and check that out when I am home again in the studio. Checking out a whole segment that we're going to do on using all sorts of catalyst tools. My favorite one is catalyst wedge number six. So those of you that have seen me um, do a lot of painting both with encaustic and cold wax and um, also paint uh, painting on with encaustic on paper on the heated palette catalyst wedge number six is my go-to catalyst tool but I do love the whole catalyst Princeton catalyst line so we'll definitely be digging into some of those and seeing what they can do coming up here in March on wax on Wednesdays so stay tuned for that. I'm so glad that you're joining me for painting today. I'm sorry that it's late. This trip was um, impromptu, it was unexpected. My uh, daughter needed something at school. And so I came down here, no, not complaining because it's lovely and warm here in the South. but I wasn't expecting to, uh, to come down. So it was sort of an impromptu trip and I have a little downtime while she's in classes. So that's why I threw my art supplies in. And while she is in class and dancing, I am painting. So I'm so glad that you're joining me even here on my phone, which I have never done before. So I really hope this turns out <laughs> because I have not done it on my phone. I've always done it on my camera and had my full desktop to, uh, to go back and, and upload it and edit. Uh, and I don't, I just have my iPad. So we will see how this, um, how I 
learn uh, some new technology skills on this trip. So always learning. There's never, if you're in a pinch and everything is not that you usually utilize, is not right around you, learning something new is always a good thing. So I try never to, to get anxious about things um, if it's, and just use everything as a learning opportunity to learn something new, to learn something that I haven't uh, tried before. And that a lot of times for me, that's technology, learning different ways of doing things. Things are always evolving and, and new things coming about. A lot of times for me that is the challenge. So you can see here I'm not adding a, um, a really thick layer to this uh, and I'm also using the, the pellet knife. I'm wiping it off. I'm wiping any excess back off here on my little side paper and really gonna start, now that I've got it all over, I can really sort of hone in and uh, tune it up and, and see where I want to scrape it back off and reveal the blue or the white and, um, and go in and, and some areas I'll just leave the green. But now that I've got kind of an all over coverage, I can go in and refine that, maybe make sure that the stem is revealed, that sort of thing but I really do love this green with the blue. So it's just sort of fun to play around with. And this will take a few days to dry. So how am I gonna get, am I gonna get this home to the Midwest studio from the south? I'm probably going to put it in a plastic bag from my, the little dry cleaning bag that they leave you in the closet, I will probably wrap it in that so that we don't get oil paint all over everything because it will take a little bit for this to dry. But how fun to add some different colors, um, play around and add, you can draw back into this and scratch back into it lightly. You don't want to scratch the, the picture, but you can certainly scratch, make some scratches and add some extra texture. Isn't that fun? So just add another, another, another element of texture on this piece. And that's really fun to use your palette knife to do that with cold wax. Just adds another interesting element. Like I said, this one is all about play and seeing what colors I like added with this paper because I hadn't used um, this paper with the cold wax before. So each paper on a cyanotype will yield a different shades of blue too. So depending on the paper that you use with a cyanotype, you might get yield different shades, especially in a wet cyanotype play around with different papers, different artist grade papers. And so it's fun to see after that, adding some cold wax and seeing how that will blend in with your paper. And this is, like I said, this is Arches Platine paper. So it's already um, an artist paper. It's not a photography paper. Like I do use a lot of times for the cyanotypes. This is actually um, arches. So it's just a wonderful paper for cyanotypes. It's a wonderful paper for, um, for paint. So it really is a wonderful substrate and I can go back that cold wax gives you quite a bit of working time. So I can go back in and smooth out, uh, my places that if I, I think I left too many scratches, I can go back in and smooth it out. I can go back in and scrape off more areas and continue to refine 
that and I just reveal, cover up, reveal. I have a little bit of working time using this paint. I have plenty of working time actually compared to an encaustic. But, and that's the wonderful thing about this is if you don't like it, you just take it back off. And I did put that cold wax on there and really work it into the paper beforehand. So I'm not scratching everything up. And you could, like I said, let it dry first, let that cold wax layer uh, dry first and then go in and add um, the layer of paint too. Uh, but I wanted to do it all in one, all in one go. So that is another versatility opportunity with the cold wax is that you can uh, let your layers dry in between and come back to it. You can uh, do it wet on wet. It's not really wet, but you get the idea. They're not dry. So I hope that you have a lot of fun with this, with playing with cold wax and cyanotype prints. And you, like I said, you can certainly do this on photography as well. And it's a really fun way to add just a pop of color to your print. And I can come back in here. Um, I can add another color right now, or I can just let it dry. And I think I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And maybe I'll come back and add in um, some of the uh, turkey red or some burnt sienna or something like that. Um, and I, I can also add in some gold. I got some gold. Um, this is brass, I think they call it, the iridescent brass. And you can add that in and that would be really lovely. Worked in here with the green, it would be beautiful. And maybe we'll try that next week and use the catalyst tools as well. But this is just a little pop of color on cyanotype and I really love this sort of green. It almost looks like it's under the sea, like a mossy green added with those deep blues. I think it really goes nicely. So I hope that you have a lot of fun with this tip and we will see you next week for a regular Wax on Wednesdays filmed correctly. Okay, we'll see you soon. Happy creating.